All right, we're live. Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert with the Ted Show. I am excited to have Manny. Manny's on. Manny Vargas from Mogul Clothing. What's up, Manny? How you doing, Ted? I'm great. Good, good. So um, I love anything about fashion and clothing, so you got my attention for sure. Uh, I saw you on Instagram, which is where most fashion stuff belongs because it's all pictures. It's really cool. Uh, your Instagram is is really great. And I thought, you know what? That seems like a that's a local guy. Maybe we can um, get to learn about his process, his product, and um, just get to know Manny Vargas. So welcome and tell them a little bit about you. Oh, man. Um, I'm actually from New York City. Um, I went to the School of Fashion Industries. Uh, my major was drawing and illustration, but, but uh, I went from drawing and illustration to jewelry designing, merchandising, and then fashion. Um, How did you, uh, so you always had a talent for drawing, but that's, that's one great. thing to draw. Then what did you want to do with it before you got into fashion? Well, I was an artist. You know, I want to be like a cartoonist at first, but then, you know, I mean, I was young. I was confused. I, <laughs> I was everywhere, you know? Yeah. And then what led you to fashion? Had you always been into fashion or was it just a fluke? Oh, man, I love to dress to impress. So, <laughs> um, you know, sometimes I can't find quite something that I like or something that, you know, you want to wear to like a ballrooms. So um, I, I thought it was time to kind of take control and create stuff that I like, you know? So what do you, where do you get the, let's talk about mogul for, for, for to start. Tell me where that came from. Where did where did mogul clothing come from? Mogul, well, the word mogul, which is M-O-G-U-L. Um, I I um, spell mogul with the pronunciation of the word mogul, which is in the dictionary. Um, the word mogul, it's a uh, it's a person who takes over um, a media or um, it's 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 basically a person of power, a dictator. A, a, uh, a, a king, a queen, you know? Um, so I took that word. The letter E in the word mogul actually has a meaning in itself, which means um, there only exists one. So that backwards E in the word mogul means there's only one in existence. So one king, one queen in existence, you know? So how, how do you decide, how did you decide originally what you were going to focus on? Tell them a little bit about mogul clothing, um, who you provide for, what kind of style you have, but there had to be a beginning there. So you decide you're going to, you're going to create your own clothing line. And, um, how did you decide what to do? Oh man, it was, it was a process and it was a long process. You know, a lot of thinking, uh, a lot of trying to create the logo. You know, I went from one logo and I kind of switched it up a little bit, but, um, I mean, Just um, I don't. I, I, I um. How did you come up with what you are making now? Did you always? Is it all men's clothes? Is it women's? No, I do children's clothing. I do women's clothing. I do men's clothing. Mm -hmm. And how do you decide what to focus on? Is it all at one time, or do you do different lines and then move to the next one? Exactly, I do different lines and move to the next one. So tell me about the men's line, because of course that's the one I'm most interested in. Where do you get your creativity from on that? Well, it comes from the mental actually, but um, I, you know, I, what I normally do is I walk the fabric store and I walk up and down the aisles for hours until I find something that kind of jumps out at me. You know, I'm big on the fabric first. Once I have a fabric that I'm in love with, then I move on to, debating on what exactly I want to do with that fabric. If it's a fabric for a man or more for a woman or a child. And, right. but uh, the first thing first is the fabric. Once fabric. I decide on fabric, then I go to the next step on what I'm going to create with that fabric. And do you go with, are you looking for big colors too? Like, tell me what your, are you primarily jackets? Like I've seen you, I've, obviously I look, um, at your Instagram page, but would you say you create like the whole package as far as the shirt, the jacket, the pocket square, or what? What's the process there? Do you get separate pieces? How does it well, work? Well, that, that all depends. You know, it all depends with timing. Um, what am I 
creating for? Who am I creating for? Um, I normally try to create a whole entire outfit. Um, I do like doing the his and hers. If you notice, I'll have a men's blazer or a men's jacket with a, a, a dress to complement the men's blazer for couples and stuff that like going out to ballrooms and weddings or, you know, so on and so on. That's cool. Tell me what you, um, what's your favorite color to work with? Oh man, I like purple, believe it or not. I like me gold. Me too, man. I love gold. Uh, black, but not black alone. I need maybe black and red or black and gold or black and silver, something to make it pop. Um, what's your I, what's your age group that you tend to we'll talk about guys, for example? Is there an age group or you just you just make it and know somebody's gonna love it? Yeah, I, I create it knowing that I love it and and I know that I mean people love the clothing, honestly. They love what I create. They really do. Where can people get it? I'm curious. I did not ask well, you that before we went live. Um, uh, not on a website yet, but you have all sorts of social media. That that's length. correct. Yeah, I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. Um, that's kind of where I'm focused on right now. Uh, I'll be honest with you. When I had the website, I really didn't get no sales from the website. Maybe a yeah. few. Most sales came from either word of mouth or at a show where somebody saw something or a piece that they loved and they bought it there on the spot. Um, or on social media, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll hit me up in my DM and they'll ask me, listen, I want a jacket for a wedding or for, you know, I have an event to go to, you know, I, and then we'll meet up in person or I'll take their sizes or do their measurements and we go from there. What do you, what, as far as guys are concerned, I think guys make the most, well, they're the ones I see the most fashion, fashion faux pas. So what are some things that guys can do or what are some things guys are doing that they shouldn't be doing when they're trying to match up? Cause I have to, my wife does um, all of, she picks everything else out for me. And sometimes I remember, and sometimes I don't, mostly I don't. So I don't pick things that like, I, I only remember this went together. Um, I don't have the sense that I think you guys do. Uh, but what are some mistakes guys make? Oof, mistakes. Uh, the way you tie your both your tie. A lot of I see that often. People don't really know how to tie a tie, the correct way. But um, I mean, there's really no mistake. You know, um, it's to your liking. I don't think that there's any mistake when it comes to dressing. You know, it's all according to your preference and what you like. You know, there's no rules on dressing. You know, you you know each person is an individual. So each individual has different ideas or different likings, you know? So um, I, don't, I don't think there's a mistake. You know, I think sometimes people don't coordinate the right way, the right colors and stuff, but I don't think there's a mistake. I think it's just, you know, to people's liking. You know, I, I find guys especially are afraid of anything bright, anything colors, purple, certainly. Yes, definitely. Um, yes, and I agree. I think that it's, but when people will see a jacket that I wear, because I try to wear colorful, I like a lot of color. Um, they're like, oh, I, I love that, but I could never pull it off. And my comment always is, well, of course you can. You just have to buy it and wear it, and then you yeah. can pull it off. Uh, I think people are afraid. They're afraid of the old stereotypes. You know, guys wear, especially my age, guys wear dockers or, you know, all khakis. It's it's all this, uh, uh, sh uh, not a flannel shirt, but the, the, the shirts that have no buttons, you know, it's just golf shirt and they don't, they're afraid to get out. So what do you, what, if somebody comes to you and they're shy and are like, all right, Manny, I want to do something different. Um, do you really sit with them and work through what their color scheme is and what they're trying to accomplish? Of course, of course. So like I said, I mean, uh, you have to, uh, the client, you know, it's, it's to their liking. So you definitely have to sit down and find out what type of fabric they would prefer what type of colors they would like. And then, um, you know, style is big, you know, and um, you move on from there, you know. Um, that's, I mean, everyone has a different opinion on stuff or different likings. So, again, um, you have to sit with each client, especially when they're paying so much money for a jacket, you know. Definitely right. have to, you know, you have to, you have to um, make something and create something that they're going to love, you know. So how does a guy create for women? It's kind of, it's, 
Creating is not hard. The uh, tough part about it is that you have to take their measurements. And me being a man measuring a woman, you know, I kind of get a little, you know. Um, but I would prefer to have another woman take the measurements and I do the creation, you know. So and is it difficult that, to get a woman's perspective being a guy? Or are you just still, because you're, you like to create, you're just looking at the fabrics and the person. I mean, do you look at skin tone? I'm just, I'm curious, you know, you hear all these things on these fashion shows and you never know what's BS and what isn't. Of course, with skin tone and the color fabric, everything, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a combination, you know, you have to, uh, you have to match. I, I, I believe, I, you know, I, I like to, to match, you know, if you have someone of a, of a golden skin color or a tan color, you know, you would, uh, you would go with something uh, light, but if you have someone that's light skin, then you would go with something a little more dark or red or burgundy. Kind of, you want it to pop. You know, right. I like colors to pop, so um, I'm big on that. What are guys? What what should what should guys add to their? Uh, what's an easy thing for them to add? Pocket square, uh, socks. I, I'm I'm always curious to hear what the advice would be. Uh, I have guys that will only wear their they're black colored socks, they're brown colored socks, and there's no design, there's nothing on them. Uh, well, it doesn't matter what color the shirt is, they think that goes with everything. Well, I, I, I'm big on matching, so I like to match the socks with the shirt, uh, tie with the shirt, you know? Um, yeah, I, I like color coordination, you know? So, yeah. What about, what is the, what is the plan for Mogul? Um, you're obviously doing shows to so talk a little bit about that or there, well, there were local shows, but I guess yes, that's sir. off for a while. Uh, but when it comes back, you'll, you do fashion shows locally and do, um, yes, uh, how does that work? Well, um, I, I'm here in Orlando. So, you know, I was basically, uh, attacking the fashion events here in Orlando first. And then, you know, unfortunately, um, with what happened, everything kind of died out for a little bit, but, um, yeah, um, my goal is to, um, you know, create in a few fashion shows here, maybe this year or next year, depending on when everything comes back to normal. And then I want to go to New York City. I want to go to Miami. And then from there, hopefully Paris, you know, be on, on the stage with the big guys. You know, those are my goals. What's the most challenging piece you've created? Was it a uh, jacket for somebody, a dress? Yeah, I, think, I think it's a blazer for men. Um, I'll be honest, I made a jacket for Rob Henlon. Uh, from um, Fen Social, that right. jacket was the the, the it's a uh, brocade fabric, which I love that fabric. This is actually brocade here, in the college brocade. Um, that fabric is not an easy fabric to deal with. You know, when you cut it, it shreds, so you have to kind of you, know, you 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 have to do a lot of stitching and a lot of stuff to keep that maintained. But that jacket that I made for Rob was one of the toughest jackets that I made, honestly. <laughs> Just the way it's the fabric beautiful. was. It's a beautiful jacket. I've seen it. It's, thank you. Thank you. See, the roses that are on the jacket, the flowers, they actually are like in 3D. So they pop from the fabric. And that was the tough part when sewing it together, you know? Rob's definitely got more adventurous over the years. Uh, so I like to see him in that. That was really, really good. Um, yes. All right. So if somebody wants to... Um, get a piece made, wants to talk to you about wardrobe change, what's the best way for them to reach out to you? On social media, either Instagram or Facebook at Mogul Clothing. That's M-O-G-E-L-C-L-O-T-H-I-N-G. And you guys can check out the pictures. He's got, um, man, he's got like very good pictures. You can, you can see what's going on. Um, I'm big on fabric too. There's certain fabrics I don't like, but I'd have no earthly idea. Like, I think this is corduroy maybe it is my wife is in the background saying it is uh, but you know i don't know and then i don't know if i'm supposed to wear it when i'm supposed to wear that it's probably getting too late in this close to summer for me to be wearing corduroy but um i'm like you i like to wear whatever i want whenever i want uh whatever strikes the mood uh but yeah i would love for people to reach out i'd love to um when you start bringing inventory again wear one of your pocket squares on or something that you have and showcase it and maybe when i can see you we could do an actual quick fashion show of what you've got um i think that would be really cool i love seeing local 
clothiers um, trying to make a mark, and that's what you're doing. So kudos to you, my friend. All right, Thank so you. Manny Vargas, Mogul Clothing. Got to reach out to him. Look at the cool stuff he's wearing. Um, and, you know, you got to love somebody who's got passion like you do for, for clothes. Thank you, Ted. Thank you. Um, your shows are great, honestly. This is not the first time I log on to look at your shows, man. You got an thank awesome you. show, honestly. And thank, thank you, you for much. Thank you for acknowledging us local artists. I appreciate you for that, honestly. I mean, Absolutely um, welcome. It's a, thank you, for real. And we also, we already got, which he'll look at, Shirley. Somebody says, I need a cool skirt. So uh, he'll, and somebody said, white socks, white, white underwear. Yeah, Wyatt, that's probably right up your alley. I don't know if that's really what, uh, <laughs> what hey, Manny listen, wants if, to create. <laughs> if, if, if they want it, we'll create it. I love mm -hmm. it. Oh, that's good. All yeah. right, so reach out to Manny. Reach out to me if you can't reach him. He's really fast on social media. Check out uh, Mogul Clothing on Instagram. It's a great page. Thank you so much for what you do, Manny. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right. We'll see you guys soon. Be back yes, tomorrow. All right. Have Bless. a good Stay one. blessed. Bye. Yes,